What's going on? Good morning, good morning. Oh, we got Allie up in the house, my sister from the same mister. Thanks for the wave. <laughs> Trying to think of things that rhyme. Tim, Tim, if you're jumping in for this workout, grab your heaviest kettlebell. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so good morning, good morning. We're gonna get started at 9 a.m. My name is LaForce. I have a very special guest. Woo! Her name is Victoria, and she's a total beast. Uh, she's she's a really impressive power lifter. Uh, what do you bench again? You know, like 155. 155, what do you squat? 230. 230 pounds, just for some perspective. Hey, Connor, she's 100 pounds, squats 235. I'm 150, I don't come anywhere near that. So pretty impressive stuff. She's an incredible kettlebell athlete, so, you know, different sports. It's Thank you. Yes, different sports for different sorts. <laughs> All right, so equipment you're going to need is at least one weight. So if that's a kettlebell, awesome. That's what we're going to be using today. If you have a dumbbell, that can work as well. Or if you kind of made your own weight, then that is perfectly fine. Use whatever you got. Uh, if you have more options, so different weight options, that's awesome. But if you only have one weight, then it's all good. I'm going to be using a couple different ones, uh, an 8 kilo, which is about 17-ish pounds, and uh, probably a 12 kilo, which is about 25 pounds or so. I think that conversion is accurate. Either way, use whatever you got. Uh, grab some water. If you're if you have an exercise mat or a towel, you can lay that down. We'll be doing some work on the floor. And then if you are wearing a watch and you're using a kettlebell, you're either gonna wanna remove it or pull a Victoria and flip it to where the face is actually on that side of your wrist. So without further ado, let's start warming up. Increase that core body temperature, starting off with some knee hugs. So pull your knee in towards your chest. You can point the toes, warm up the ankles a little bit too. This is such a beautiful view in the background. I'm very excited. We're at Victoria's house right now. She's got sun on. Getting our sun on. Trying to get a little bit of a tan. She's already brown. She doesn't have to worry about that. Lucky lady. All right, one more each side. And move into a quad stretch. So reach for that foot back behind you. Driving the knee down in towards the midline. Now your core is what keeps you stable. So keep it flex. It's gonna help you stay nice and tall. If you fall to one side, know that that's okay. Good news, no one can see you stumble. <laughs> but you. Or can they? <laughs> Secret camera I got. Surprise. All right, so open the feet up, toes pointed out, little bend in the knees, hinge of the hips, reach down for the floor, forward fold, open up the hamstrings. You can stay here for a moment and then drop your booty low, start to open up the hips, pressing the knees out with the elbows, chest is proud, weight in the heels. Now move with your breath. So as you exhale, straighten the legs, let your body fall forward. As you inhale, drop it low, open up the hips. Do a fun little hair flip while you're there. Does your ponytail also get it? Oh, you got a bun. Oh yeah, get it out of the sweat zone. She's a lot smarter than I am. Just throwing that out there. All right, what's up? We got a few more people joining. You need one weight for this class if you're joining us for the workout. And we have some people doing it later, so hello, future people. Hey, Perla, what's up? Welcome back to the office. Slowly roll yourself up, move into a windmill stretch. So feet are wide, toes to the right to start. Right hand goes down your leg, left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Inhale as you come up, bicep up by the ear, and flow to the other side. Left fingertips down, right are up. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you come down. So feel a little stretch in your side body, in your hamstrings as well. Also warming up the shoulders at the top. See if you can bring that thumb to the rear bicep by the ear. It even rhymes, so you should be able to remember it. Rhyming is great. Taylor is one more on this side, thank you. God is great, all right. <laughs> and then moving into some over under, so warming up the upper body. Keep some action, keep some movement with the lower body as well. Not letting it get cold on you. I like our whole color scheme right now. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Yeah. This is way better than inside my very small apartment. That's <laughs> dark and gloomy and We've lonely. Got blue hues over here. Yes, blue hues are nice. All right, shake it out. Two more movements, and then we'll get right into the workout. So starting off, warming up the shoulder joint. Right thumb is gonna be right underneath your collarbone. Lock the rib cage down. Keep that thumb in contact with your body. Start drawing some circles with the elbow. Now your thumb might travel up your body, that is okay. Just keep it in contact. Do a couple more, make it a little bit bigger. 
Now from here, we're gonna pause where our shoulder and elbow are in line, extend that arm out, let it fall, and return that thumb back to underneath the collar blade. Collarbone. Collar blade. <laughs> collar blade. Shoulder blade, collar yep, blade. Yep, yep. <laughs> Love you, big. Now you can inhale as you circle, exhale as you extend, like you're flicking your ponytail back behind you. Just getting some movement in the shoulder joint before we get started. Let's do one more and release. Take it to the other side. Left thumb under your collarbone. Just start with some circles. Locking your rib cage down. A little tuck of the chin, reaching up tall. All right, now from here, pause and extend that arm. So inhale, circle, exhale, extend. Last couple, three, two, and one. All right, last movement is for the wrists. So interlace your fingers, wrist circles in one direction. I'll tell you when to switch. We'll spend a little bit of time on our palms today. Yes, there are push-ups involved. You're welcome. Take it to the other side. So Victoria can do like a couple hundred, no problem. <laughs> Not the best of push-ups, and that's why I put it in there, because I need it the most. So it's for me, it's for me, and for you. All right, go ahead and shake it out. All right, friends, so we've got three pieces to today's workout. If you have weight selections, you might want to use a slightly heavier one for this first piece. We've got four different movements, and we're always going to end with a different hip bridge variation. Very excited about that. So first movement is an alternating clean and thruster, so just one weight for this one. Feet can be about hip width apart. We're going to go strict on our clean for this one, so we're not swinging between our legs, just pulling straight from the brown. Elbow comes up. So you're gonna bring it up to that front rack position. Notice my hand is fully inserted and the kettlebell's rested on my forearm. From here, weight in the heels, you're gonna squat down and press the weight overhead, bicep by the ear, thumb to the rear, and then return back down, set it back on the ground, and then you'll take it to the other side, fully insert that palm, one squat into an overhead press, and set it back down. 45 seconds there, then we're moving into an alternating clean and rotational lunge. So this one, we're gonna go wide with our feet, Toes can be slightly out. We are gonna swing the weight between our legs this time for that clean. So starting off with my left, gonna bring it up to the front rack position. If my weight is in my left, I am turning to the left to load that front leg, come back to center. I'm gonna chest pass it, switching arms. Weight is in the right hand, right leg is forward. Come back to center, swing it between the legs and repeat. It's gonna be a fun one. Don't worry, you have multiple rounds to get that movement down. Number three, coming at you. We got a sumo squat hold with a calf raise. So we're gonna go goblet position with our weight, holding by the horns. Feet are wide, toes pointed out. Set your weight into your heels, squat down, hold here, press the knees out, and then you're coming up onto your toes for a calf raise. You can alternate as well if balance is an issue. And if you gotta come up to shake it out, that is okay. Last one and we'll get started. So we've got multiple variations of a hip bridge. Let me get these weights out of the way or shimmy back. Cool, so for this first one, our feet are gonna be hip width apart. You're tucking your tail, pressing into the floor, squeezing your glutes at the top, lowering down slow and controlled. And we've got multiple variations for each round. So first one, hip width distance, and I'll let you know what we're doing on the second one. All right, friends, I hope you're ready to get started. If you got some tunes, turn them up. I'm gonna throw some jams on and let the games begin. All right, all right. All right, friends, get ready. We got 45 seconds of work. Starting off with that alternating clean and thruster in three, two, and one. So pulling straight from the floor. Hand is fully inserted into the bell. One squat, feet hip width apart, into that overhead press, thumb to the rear. Returning the weight back down to the ground, switching sides. Now we're going four rounds. So if it takes you a moment to get the movement down, that is okay. You'll have plenty of time to perfect it. 20 more seconds. We're going straight into that clean and rotational lunge next. Waiting the heels for that squat. Press them down. Three, two, and one. Alternating clean rotational lunge. So bring it up top from that position. Weight in the right. Rotate to the right. Drop that back knee. Pass the weight to your opposite hand. And take it down to the left. Here for 45 seconds. See if you're able to transfer the weight in mid-air. If you gotta set it down, that's okay. 
But trust yourself, you're more than capable. Good news, 15 seconds. We move it into that sumo squat hold with a calf raise. That might be the best one or the worst one, however you want to look at it. Last three, two, and one. All right, friends, goblet variation. So feet are wide, toes pointed out, weight in the heels. Get low in that spot, press the knees out, stay here. Start coming up onto the toes. Woo. When you try to watch yourself and you lose your balance. So focus on something that's not moving. So maybe that's not me. I hope that balance. If you gotta alternate, you can do so. Your best to stay low, you got this. I know, I know. Good news, you got less than 15 seconds. Just one more move and you got a little break coming up. That's it, stick with it, stay low. Three, two, and one. Come on down to the ground. Weight or no weight doesn't matter for these hip ridges. Tuck the tail and navel to the spine. Press into the heels, squeeze the glutes to the top. Lower the hips back down. Keep your head and neck on the ground to protect your neck. Now I'm going to be looking over here at the timer. You can keep your eyes straight up. You got tail tucked, so your legs point in your ribs and your belly button towards each other. Not like you actually are. Ten more seconds. We got a 30 second rest. Come and up. Squeeze those glutes. Last three, two, and one. Return that weight off the hips if you use one. Shake it out, 30 seconds, come on up. Give those legs a little love. Feeling good, 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 good. good. All right, friends, so one down, down. Now we're familiar with the movements. In 10 seconds, we're starting back off with that alternating clean and thruster. So if your hip width apart, it's gonna be right between the legs, so going straight on that clean. Get ready to go in three, two, and one. Bring the weight up to the front rack. Drop it low, press it up. Pressing through the floor as you come up from that squat. Ooh, my favorite song is coming on the moment when you need it most. 15 more seconds, last little bit of work. Coming up is that alternating clean with rotational lunge. Last three, two, and one. All right, friends. So widen your base, your weights in your right. Rotate to the right, drop the back knee. Switch out, swing that way between your legs. Now on your cleans, you actually want to open your palm and drive it up and in the corner. <laughs> 15 more seconds, almost there. Coming up, we've got that sumo squat hold with a calf raise. The fun continues, friends. Last three, two, and one. Goblet position, hold it by the horns. Feet wide, toes out. We drop it low. Come up onto those toes. Make sure your chest is not coming forward. See as upright as you can. There's gonna be a point where your body's gonna tell you no. So we gotta fight back, you gotta argue back, you gotta tell yourself yes. You're more than capable, just 20 seconds. Now on this next hip bridge, we're hitting the inner thighs just like we're doing now. It's gonna feel fabulous. We're gonna keep our feet and knees together. So get ready, friends. Move into the floor in three, two, and one. Weight down. Come to the ground with or without your weight. Up to you. Feet and knees are together. Tuck the tail. Press the heels into the floor. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Now your focus is pressing the legs together as tight as you can. So really squeeze and feel those inner thighs burning. Coming out those sumo squats too. It should be a great time. Woo! Woo! -woo.
Good news, you're well over halfway. What do you say? Free sweats from the sun. <laughs> I know, for sure. Sun came out at the right time. You got less than 10 seconds. Last couple reps. No that rest is coming in. Three, two, and one. Whew. Weight down. Come on up. So good news. We're two rounds down. Two more to go of part number one. So give those legs some love. You got a friend nearby? Have some love. Shake it off. <laughs> I promise you we're going to dance. I'm so glad. She's a great dancer. World class, actually. Yep. I voted. <laughs> All right, friends, we're back to the fun. Alternating clean and thruster in three, two, and one. Now it gets serious again. But offspring is on, so is it really? So be mindful of your lockout position overhead. You want your bicep towards your ear, your thumb to the back. You're over halfway, 20 seconds to go. Opposite hand can be out to counterbalance on that clean. 10 more seconds, last couple reps. Last three, two, and one. Into that rotation lunge. So weight is on my right side, right leg is forward. Drop that back knee, chest pass through in between, hit that clean. On that swing, I'm bringing my forearm to my crotch. Just embrace it. It's all good. And the hips are driving forward. Almost there, less than 15 seconds. Having to do math on this timer with 45. It's a good time. <laughs> Last three, two, and one. Two more squat. Wide with the feet, toes are out, drop in low. Your weight is underneath your chin if you got a dumbbell. You can do this as well in the goblet position. As you stay low, you're gonna wanna come up, tell yourself no. You're not letting that happen. The one time we're saying no is good. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Good news, we got 15 more seconds. Coming up, we got frog pumps. So this time we're gonna have a butterfly position with the feet, looking at outer glutes, coming up. Last couple reps, stick with it. Three, two, one. Come on down to the ground. So your feet are together, knees are open wide, put a neck on the ground, tuck the chest, squeeze the glutes. With or without the weight, take your poison. Take your medicine. So this one's working a little bit of the outer glutes this time. Now your goal, because we got one more round, is to figure out what variation of hip bridges was the most challenging. So we had that hip with kisses, feet knees together, and now butterfly position. So whichever one you're like, this sucks the most, that's what you're gonna pick for that last round. Good news, less than 10 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Woo. Come on up. Yes, three down, one to go. Time is flying, time is flying. We got a 30 second rest. We're already 15 seconds into it. Of course, that's how it works. Okay, I'm glad we went four because three feels good. You got fourth one. Feel great. Yeah, fourth one is gonna be tough. Five seconds, get set up. Be hip with the park. This is your last time doing each of these movements. Let's make the most of it in three, two, and one. Opposite arm counter bounces. Squat it down, press it up. So if you're using a kettlebell on your cleans, notice if you're banging your forearm. So you wanna be really gentle Really soft with yourself as you open that palm and let it glide deep into your hand. But take some time. If it's not perfect today, it's all good. Five seconds, almost there. Maybe one more on this side. 
So when the knees are the most, three, two, and one. Rotational lunges, widen up the feet. Turn to whatever side that weight is on. Chest pass, swing in between. Take it to the other side. Talking and breathing. That's a challenge. I'm not gonna lie. Owning it now. So she's crushing it. Thanks, love. Got some good support right behind me. See you. 15 more seconds. We got that sumo squat hold to calf raise. Always feels good for the first 15. Last 30 is like, oh god. Right? Yes. Three, two, and one. Goblet position, feet wide, toes out. Drop it low. Press the knees out, come up onto the toes. Squeeze the calves, press the heels down. You can alternate if you want, do what feels good to you. Whatever feels right in your body. <laughs> Did you slip? No, I'm sitting here like goofing around. But oh, I missed it. If you want to be entertained, just look at Victoria. Usually how it goes. 30 seconds down, 15 to go, final 15. I'm gonna watch this later and see what weird stuff you're doing. I got sweat dripping in my eye. Yep. It's burning off. Salt. Woo! Some sexy salt. Good news, you get to pick your hip bridge in three, two, and one. Weight down, coming out of the ground. So for me, I really struggle in the butterfly position, so frog pump. Really? Yeah. You're frog pumping it? Sure, yeah. and frog pump together. Stay together. <laughs> Friends, we do 100 reps of every exercise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. So la last week, I think, we did 100 reps of last Friday. Yeah, last Friday. <laughs> we did 100 reps of 15 different exercises. It was a great time. Speaking of great times, we have just 10 more seconds. So you might as well stick in it. Maybe you can pulse a little bit at the top. Let that be your challenge. We got three, two, and one. Or turn the hips to the ground. Shake it out. Come on up, friends. Okay. How are we doing out there? Are we doing good? Throw me a little thumbs up if you're surviving. If your legs have a little burn in them, here's what we got coming up. All right, so moving into part two of three parts, and we're gonna be on the ground this time. So I'm gonna switch on my weight. I'm gonna use something a little bit lighter. So this is an eight kilo. So seated, wide-legged, overhead press. We're going 30 seconds right, 30 seconds on the left. The most important part is you're locking your rib cage down. So keep it really tight. When we're pressing up, we don't wanna lean forward or backward. We definitely don't want to arch our low back. So, hand is fully inserted, really deep in the palm. My elbow starts down, my core is tight. I'm gonna press the weight up, thumb is to the rear, return back down. We're here for 30 seconds on the left, then we'll switch it out, 30 seconds on the right. This way we can't use our legs at all. After that, we've got a bridge chest press. Swivel around, I'm gonna move this big guy out of the way because I'm not using him. He's just for decoration. So, just like that bridge we did before, hip with a part, press into the heel, lift the hips off the floor, squeeze the glutes, palm faces in, you're pressing that weight up, driving the elbows down, tap it down, and press back up. So working the chest, 30 on the right, 30 on the left. This is where it gets real. We've got offset push-ups for 30 seconds. So set your kettlebell or weight down. One palm is on the bell, one palm is on the ground. Bringing your chest to the floor, and then you switch sides. So opposite palm on the kettlebell, opposite palm on the ground. Getting a little bit deeper on one side. Final exercise, and I'm done talking, are Superman pull downs. So on your tummy, you want to tuck your tail, your feet stay on the ground, press your chest in the floor, palms down, and you're lifting the palms, and then pulling back, squeezing the shoulder blades, extend the arms out, and pull back, pressing your chest down to balance out all those pushing movements. All right, friends, I hope you're, hope you're ready. I hope you're pumped. I sure am, bitch, you ready to go? Okay, good news, we're only doing 30 seconds of each movement and a 30 second rest, so it's gonna feel good. We're gonna start in 15 seconds. So spread your legs, have a seat. That's fun to say. Woo, all right. So much sweat in my eyes. Five seconds, the fun goes down. Starting off in the right hand, fully insert that palm. Three, two, and one. Lock the rib cage down, press it straight up. Thumb to the rear, bicep comes by your ear. Notice if you want to lean back or forward, you're normal. 
try to fight it. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Now as I give you these cues about locking your ribcage down, about bringing your bicep to the ear, I am honestly talking to myself, because I need this too, friends. Last three, two, and one. Switch sides. Weight in that left hand fully inserted. Extend the elbow joint, bicep by the ear. Lower back down with control. Your rib cage is locked down, core is tight. No assistance from the legs in this position. 15 more seconds. And if your left side sucks a little bit more than your right, yep. totally normal, right? And now you can have the awareness of that. Do you need to work on your left? I sure do. Sure do. Last three, two, and one. Set the weight down, bridge position. Right away, stamp the heels on the ground, lift the hips, stand that arm up, drop the elbow down, press it overhead. So feel your chest on the right side working. Little extra squeeze at the top. Woo! Going along with the music. Yeah. All right, the sun is in my eyes. I'm trying to see the timer. <laughs> Less than 10 seconds. Ten and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Three, two, and one. Switch it to the other side. Transferring the weight to the left. Pressing the heels, drop the elbow. Press that weight up. Don't when you look like that, do you, honey? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you know this song. Let's dedicate this song to Victoria. Strong little bit. <laughs> so sweet with her. Alright, friends, last couple reps. You got three, two, and one. So now we got offset push ups. Set your weight down, flip it over. One palm is on the kettlebell, one palm on the ground, chest to the floor, switching sides. Oh, it's like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. So you got a little bit of core engagement too as you go to the other side. Good news, I talked through most of that. So we only got three, two, and one. Wait away. Superman pull downs on your tummy. Tuck the tail, press the chest into the floor, palms down. Lift them up, drive the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Keep your breath while you're pressing into the floor. Good news, we got a 30 second rest coming up. And inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Try to keep the shoulders off the ground, sorry, palms off the ground the whole time. Last three, two, and one. Shake the arms out. Okay, I gotta bring that timer closer to me. Good news, you got a couple extra reps on one of those. Woo! <laughs> All right, starting off with that seated press, 10 seconds. Spread your legs, let's go. <laughs> it's never gonna get old, never gonna get old. All right, starting off with our weight on the right side. Here we go, three, two, and one. Lock the ribs down, extend that arm overhead. Turn the elbow back to the hip. Fifteen more seconds, you're over halfway there. To focus so much on this one. So if I'm not talking, it's not personal. Right here with you. Three, two, one. Switch to the other side. Palm fully inserted. That way the weight is just resting in your forearm. Makes like a little pocket in that front rack position. All right, at this point, that feels so good. So good, so good. 10 more seconds, stick with it. Keep those ribs locked down. Last three, two, and one. Set the weight down, Woo. bridge position. By Ali, good luck with your meeting. <laughs> Press the heels into the floor. That we up, squeeze your glutes. Now, if you want to get spicy, maybe even switch up your hip bridge variation. So I'm gonna go feet together, knees together, just for funsies. Got <laughs> 10 more seconds. See, I wish Allie was still on because that's her word. Funsies, funsies. Hurry yeah. on the funsies. <laughs> Think when you have kids, you get you get creative and silly. Three, two, and one. Switch it to the other side. Weight is in your left hand. If your pass to the other hand is a little awkward, it's okay. Yep, mine was very Right? Awkward. You gotta like kind of think about it. You're like, oh wait, wait, the weight needs to be on the right. 
for the left on the outside. So you are not alone. This is my sport and I still mess it up. 10 more seconds. We got those offset push-ups coming up. Whoa, left side. Left side is feeling it. It's working. Indeed, three, two, and one. Weight down, flipping over. Right away, one palm on that kettlebell, one palm off. Switching sides. Gotta get some room over here. <laughs> now as an option, you can come to your knees. Homegirl's gonna take that option. <laughs> Last three, two, and one. Move your weight, you're on your tummy. Palms are down, lift them up. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you pull back with the arms. My left shoulder is burning so much. Ooh, burn so good. So good, 10 seconds. Think about pressing your breastbone into the ground. Woo. Three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, good news, you have one more round, and then we have abs, the best part. Ooh. A little bit of shoulders are gonna be involved in that one, I'm not gonna lie. Just wanna keep it real. Hi, Tyler. Occasionally saying hi. I'm gonna say hi to you. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, 10 seconds. You know what to do. I have good news. It's your last time doing each of these movements, so you might as well make the most of it. You didn't see that. Here we go. Weight in the right hand. Three, two, and one. Lock the ribs down. Straight press up, thumb to the rear, bicep by the ear. This is one of those exercises that I wish we were alternating. All right. Yeah, but that's okay. Feeling the burn. It's all good. Let's say this is not comfortable on your hip flexors. You can go cross-legged if you'd like. Last three, two, and one switch sides. Got some 300 soundtrack playing now. <laughs> Get amped. It's like last round. Get dramatic. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's solid. Using this as a moment to pause. <sighs> 15 more seconds. Come on, left shoulder, stick with me. <sighs> so focused. Gotta be. Three, two, and one, flip it over. I'm gonna see about going froggy for this one. Yeah, that's a word. That is a word, bringing my timer close to me. Very scientific. Scientific, yes. It's a exercise science. <laughs> Fitness science. Yep. So it's like, it should be the name of somebody's channel or program. Right. Science-based fitness, <laughs> froggy position. Three, two, and one. Switch sides. Make that transition. Lift the hips, drop the elbow. I hear you jamming out there. I know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Truth be told, I've never seen 300. Oh, fraud, yeah. what a fraud. I know, I'm a fraud. I'm a froggy fraud. <laughs> have you seen that movie? I have. Oh, okay, you're cooler than me. You squat more than me. You do all the push-ups on your toes. Three, two, and one. Speaking of push-ups, but you can do all the endurance-based strength work. Thank you, thank you. Just, just tell me to do a lift for 10 minutes and I'm game. It's a lot of mental strength, by the way, folks. Thank you. Got that going for me, got something. Now, if you're wondering, why do these push-ups feel so much harder? It's because you just did a chest press. So work in the same muscle groups. That's why it sucks. I'm also giving myself an excuse. Three, two, and one. Wait away. Last movement of this piece. Superman pull downs. Tuck the tail, press the breastbone down, lift the palms. Oh, the song is so epic. It's giving you a sense of urgency. Get there. It is. You will. You can. <laughs> Think yes. Unleash the warrior within. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much more fun with you. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Whew. Okay. Boom. All right. I hope you guys are doing fabulously. Leave a little love. Oh, snap. Josh, epic AF song. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. 
I stole it from an OTF coach, actually. One what of is he playlists. doing here? I know. Are Go you away, actually Josh. working out? He's probably just being nice. Okay. All right, friends. We're moving on to part number three, your final part of the day. I promise. So first one are half get-ups. 30 seconds on the right, 30 on the left. Here's what that looks like. So one weight or no weight. You can totally do this. I just spit. Totally do this with just your palm up in the air. Trust me, it's still going to be hard. So my weight is in my right hand. Once again, fully inserted. My right knee is up. I'm going to press the weight up, keep it up. My left palm is pressing down, coming up to my left elbow, up to my left palm, down to my left elbow, all the way down to the shoulders. So right side, right knee is up. Then we'll switch sides. Fun stuff. And then your weight is done. Shut up, Josh. I can't read that right now. Single leg V-ups. Sorry, Josh. Arms extended overhead. Opposite hand towards opposite foot. If you want to challenge, you can keep your heels lifted off the ground, shoulders off the ground as well. Final movement are scissors. So we are going to scissor together. We are going to <laughs> scissor. Stop it. Stop it. Tuck your tail. So keep your low back pressing into the floor. <laughs> Opening up the legs, crossing them over the other. It's a little bit less challenging if you bring the legs up. Just make sure your low back is pressing into the ground. Okay, friends, good news. This is your last little little bit, last little bit of work. We're starting in 20 seconds. So I'm going to read whatever Josh said. LOL, I'm eating second breakfast. You fatty. I'm kidding. He is extremely ripped. He's on my YouTube channel. It's uh, Exercise Compassion if you want to check it out. Fun, right? Okay. So weight is in your right hand, your right knee is up, left palm pressing down. We go in three, two, and one. Come up to the elbow, up to the palm, down to the elbow, down to the shoulders. So the whole time you're keeping that weight up, at the very top, your bicep is right by the ear. So same lockout position we were just working on. Your core is working, your shoulders are stabilizing, and you got 10 more seconds. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Cue the, Cue the woos. Cue the woos. The woos are coming out. Makes me think of uh, How I Met Your Mother. Three, two, and one. Switching sides. Weight in the left. Left knee is up. You press into the left elbow. Up to the palm. Down to the elbow. Down to the shoulders. It's that transition that you got to think about. You're like, I'm working out. Should I have to like stick into the back of my back? <laughs> Don't get it wrong. I was like, Whoa. Don't work. Love it. Oh, this Woo. Ten more seconds. Coming up, single leg V-ups. You get to drop your weight carefully, by which I mean set it down. Three, two, and one. Set the weight down, do not drop it. It's your place though, so up to you. Arms extended, opposite hand, opposite foot. Now you can exhale as you reach up, inhale, extend. I'm turning up the M&M. Crank it up, crank it up. And now it's like I got an extra weight because I got the iPad in my hand. Let that be your challenge. Hold your iPad. Whatever you got, we got three, two, and one. All right, low back pressing into the floor. Head and neck on the ground, so just scissor the feet. You want to take it up? You can bring the shoulder blades off as well. If that sounds like a good time to you. Either way, we got 15 more seconds. 30 second rest coming up. This is where it starts to suck. Yes, so good. So good. Hey. Josh, second breakfast at 9.30, three, two, and one. 30 second rest. We just popped up like in unison. We planned it. so cool. We did, we planned it. We've been practicing, we choreographing it. The whole thing, the whole nine yards. I know we got black shorts, but we kind of like, you know, add some diversity of color to the background. Okay guys, 10 seconds. Till my legs give out, can't show mama. Till my abs give out. All right, weight in your right hand. Right knee is up. Extend the arm. Three, two, and one. We go elbow, palm, elbow, shoulders. Keep it going. Anytime you want to set your weight down, go for it. It's hard either way. But hey, this movement, you do it every day. When you're getting out of bed in the morning. So if you can do it with a weight over your head, you're going to be set up for success for many years to come. Ten more seconds. Plug in the, how does this relate to everyday life? Functional fitness. Functional fitness in three, two, and one. Switch sides. I got it. We put the fun in functional fitness. <laughs> On the reel. Uh. 
That just ate up like five seconds. <laughs> I we did that on purpose. We did. We did. Oh, left side is like, what are you doing? I know. Good news, you only got ten seconds. <sighs> Three, two, oh. and one. Way down. Come on, get up. Okay. You got it. You got it. All right, single leg dance. Ready, set, go. Only 30 seconds. Use your breath. Inhale, extend. Exhale as you reach. If you want to take up the intensity, you can keep your heels lifted. I'm going to let you take that challenge if you want it. Wow, look at her. Let you. Now you're like, I have to. <laughs> right? <laughs> Three, two, and one. Low back pressing into the floor. Tuck the tail. Sit the feet. And you bring your shoulders off the ground. Really connect that low back to the floor. I've got my palms under my bum, but you do feel what feels good to you. I like that too. Yeah, 15 Ooh, more seconds. Yeah. That's support. Yeah, that's the money. I just like saying the word bum. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. I feel Australian. We got three, two, and one. Woo! Synchronize, roll up. <laughs> okay, good news. 30 seconds of rest, and this is your last round coming up, coming up. All right, Josh, what else did you leave? I'll go. Oh, ew. Ew, Josh, ew. What did you say? Scissor in the gross face. Sicko. He's actually listening to what we're saying. I know, that's so nice. Probably entertaining. All right, weight in the right hand. Right knee is up. We go in three, two, and one. Press in the palm. Now maybe you just come up onto your elbow, that's all good. Your best is always enough. Or in the words of Victoria, if it's not challenging you, it's not changing you. Ooh. Ooh. I heard you say that once and I stole it. I love it. I think I said it on my class on Sunday. Ooh. So thanks for the material, babe. Yes, of course. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Last three, two, and oh, one. Weight in the left, left knee is up. Woo! Wow, okay, my left knee. <laughs> left side is like, whoa, stability. I know. Oh, coordination, what is that? Right? This is a heavier bell than I normally would use for my turkey I'm very excited then. Ooh. And would you do it like three times? Ooh. Three, two, and one. Come on down. Single leg be ups. You've got a minute total of work. 30 here. 30 on Josh's favorite exercise. Get your mind out of the cutter, Josh. By the way, if you want extremely epic workout content, besides me and Vic, check, it, check out Josh the trainer. He has his shirt off awesome. and a lot of all the, all the time. It's great. It's great. It's the best part of the workout. Three, two, and one. Tug the tail, put your palms under your bum if that feels good to you, and let's go. Scissor it out. All the way to the finish. <laughs> Hashtag scissor time. <laughs> scissor grind. <laughs> scissor grind. I'm oh, sorry. Can that please be a thing? <sighs> Almost there. You got less than 10 seconds. Press your low back down. Tuck that tail. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay. So. We hit the legs, we hit the upper body and the core. Josh, LOL, sorry for being gross on your live workout. Great sweat, ladies. My hubby came in from another room when he heard you were scissoring. Oh my God, Erica, that's hilarious. Just for you all. Sorry to disappoint. That would not be free on Instagram. <laughs> or at all. I love you, Vic, but you're not my type. Okay, you're not a man. All right, so good news, you're that's done. Give me a little thumbs up, a little wave if you're feeling good. Hey, Josh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stretch it out because the hard work is done. Congratulations, you survived, you are awesome. But now we gotta stretch because that's the most important part. So we're gonna start off. Vic, what are you doing? Dancing. Get on the ground. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> that's great. All right, so we're gonna start off in a high plank position. Bring your right foot outside of your right palm. Relax your left knee down, relax the back toes. I see your thumbs up, what's up? Whew. You rock, Bianca. All right, you can stay on your palms. If your flexibility allows you to, maybe you come down to your elbows. 
If not, it's all good. You can even just bend your elbows a little bit. See how close you can get to the ground? Now, often we challenge ourselves in our workouts, in our runs, whatever it is, but we don't always challenge our flexibility. So every time you go into a stretch, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Maybe today's the day that you come a little closer to the floor. Maybe it's not, there's no judgment in that either. <laughs> don't judge Change me. takes time. I'm always judging you. Victoria's a former yoga instructor as well. Oh, former. <laughs> All right, so from here, come onto your palms if you're not there already. Stay here. You're going to try to kick your left heel to your left glute. Press the left palm down and reach the right fingertips up and back behind you. Now, maybe you're able to grab your foot. Maybe you're just kind of out here and you're like, I'm going to get you one day. That one day is coming before you know it. If you have a hold of it, pull it in. Try to get your heel towards your glute to feel a little stretch in your left quad should feel kind of yucky. Technical term. Kind of juicy. Kind of juicy. <laughs> oh, really juicy? <laughs> what was wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. You're too great. Too great. <sighs> stay here for a little longer. When you want to hop out of it, that's when you need to stay. Three, two, and one. <laughs> I just wanted to be a jerk. <laughs> All right, go ahead and take it to the other side. Switch however you'd like. Left foot outside your left palm. Walk the right knee back, relax the back toes. You can stay on your palms. Maybe you come down towards the ground, maybe even on your forearms. Either way, you can relax your head and neck. Maybe you shake it left and right, yes and no. I'm turning, trying to turn the music off because it's a little so too pumped out. Down. Yeah, it's like amped, right? Oh. It was it was very amped. It was like suffocate and everything. It's like, war. It's very angsty like very teenage angst type of music. I'm a jam. Haven't grown out of that, you know? Just still in years later. Years. <laughs> Basically. All right, press on your palms if you're not there already. Try to kick your right heel towards your right glute. Left fingertips come back. Reach for that foot. Maybe it's just right here and you got a little bit of a twist. That's all good. Still reap the benefits of it. Pressing into your right palm for stability. Keeping the right shoulder down away from your ear. If you open up the chest a little bit, you can lift your gaze up towards the sky. Gotta keep my eyes closed though, because the sun is so bright. And all the sweat's going into it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so much sweat. So much. I, I just I just realized that we haven't lifted on this at all today, all so I should probably bring that out right now. Super fun. I was supposed to do that on the Superman's, but I forgot. So uh Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Too much fun. It's too sexy. Okay, go ahead and release that foot, return the palm back down, and come to all fours. So last couple stretches, we're going to thread the needle. It's going to feel good for the shoulders. We did a lot of shoulder work, so press into your right palm, lift the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Ooh, felt a pop. And then reach the left palm underneath your body, palm facing up. Hold your friend's hand. <laughs> you can see this. This, this is, is really so fancy. beautiful. I think we need to take a photo of this later. <laughs> Stare longingly into their eyes. Wipe your sweat on your arm. Thanks for bros. Thank you. Likewise. Still the moment. I probably got all kinds of fun things on my hand. So, enjoy. Embrace the germs. Wait, we're not supposed to embrace them, I know. Ah! <laughs> sanitizer! Alright. Come on back to all fours. Press your left palm into the ground. Reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. And then thread the needle. Reach that arm through underneath your body. Faces up. I know. I'm holding your hand for those at home. Press into your left palm. Open up that shoulder a little bit more. Relax your right ear, right shoulder on the ground. Breathing deep into your belly. Relax your face. See if you can keep your breathing in and out through your nose only. Press into your left palm, come back to all fours. We're just gonna end with a little bit of a child's pose, call it a day. So spread the knees wide, lean towards the heels, lift up, walk the hands forward, and relax the forehead down. Now you can play with your palms, maybe you walk them to one side, maybe you bring them up towards the ceiling, find a little external rotation in the shoulders. That always feels good to me. 
holding tension in your face, let it go. Maybe even rub your forehead, left and right, a little, little massage. Give yourself a little I love you. And we got somebody else around, Victoria, love you. Thank you. Anybody watching presently or in the future, love you too. Got so much love for you. Not gonna cry. <laughs> too much sad, too much sad, too much sad. Ooh, too much sauce, too much sauce. It's gonna be our new carry. All right, barely slowly walk the palms back up. Shake the shoulders out. Give some love to somebody around. Maybe it's yourself. Air five through the camera. I hope you had a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous time. Thanks for working out with oh, me and Vic. My phone died. Oh, your phone died. I'm sorry. Well, it's good at the end. It's good. All right. Any questions or feedback from me, just let me know. I got lots of love for you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.